The Huajing Formation is a geological formation in Hebei, in China. Known for its fossils, including feathered dinosaurs and birds, the age of the formation is uncertain. It may represent an early portion of the Jihol biota. Protopsephyrus is thought to have been pescivorous, feeding on smaller fish. One adult specimen of Protopsephyrus was observed with a specimen of Lycoptera, the most common fish in the formation, preserved in its stomach. Pescivory is likely the ancestral ecology of paddlefish, making the transition to being planktivorous filter feeders. Zunminglong is described as being the smallest known member of Compsognathidae. Fossil of Genfangopteryx preserves several small, oval structures that are reddish yellow in color, possibly seeds that the dinosaur had eaten before it died. They may also be small eggs or developing follicles. If the oval structures are indeed seeds, they could indicate that it was an omnivore. Protopteryx was adapted for flying and had feathers with features similar to modern birds, as shown by its prochoracoid, carina of the sternum, external tuberosity of the humerus, and deltoid crest, which suggest Protopteryx had a modern musculus supracoracoideus and pectoralis. Jibinia was described from a nearly complete fossil. The fossil seems not to have ever received a catalog number, nor to have been accessioned by a museum. They are ancestors of the modern bird. A histological study of Cruelispinius humerus found no lines of arrested growth present within the bone. This is evidence that it died within one season. However, due to the bone having both an inner and outer layer, it was believed to have died near adulthood. These factors are support for the idea that individuals of Cruelispinia grew quickly, reaching adult size in less than a year. This is in contrast with other Enantionithians, which are believed to have grown slowly, taking several years to reach adulthood. Liamican Formation is another formation from early Cretaceous in western China. The ecosystem was probably a rainforest with huge lakes and broad rivers. Some dinosaurs and pterosaurs have been found in this area. The posture of Cetacosaurus has been interpreted as being quadrupedal when juvenile, steadily shifting to primarily, perhaps obligatory bipedal in adult life. It has been proven that the four arms of adults could not rotate, provide forward spring, or even realistically reach the ground, all strong evidence that adult Cetacosaurus were bipedal. There is some evidence that proves that at least some species of Cetacosaurus had a row of quill-like feathers that ran down from the pelvis to the tail. 
These quills would have been of little use in either insulation of defense, but they would have been very good structures for display. Wherasaurus was lower to the ground than most other stegosaurids. Scientists believe that this was an adaptation to let it feed on low-growing vegetation. It perhaps had a thagomizer on the end of its tail, like that of Stegosaurus, which featured four bony spikes that would most likely have been used for self-defense. Kelmeosaurus is currently only known by partial upper and lower jaws, and because of this the exact its size is still unknown. Tugulosaurus was one of the first members of Alvarezsauria ever discovered. It is unsure what its diet is, probably insectivorous like its smaller relatives, but as it is a little bit bigger, it could have hunt small vertebrates too. Zingian Governator was a predatory dinosaur that probably hunted other small creatures and dinosaurs. Sungariptorids like Neuripterus are interpreted as adapted for feeding on shellfish or other hard foodstuffs, with long narrow toothless beak tips for probing and picking up suitable prey, and robust teeth farther back for cracking shells. The skulls of these animals are more robust than those of other pterosaurs, as well as their limbs and vertebrae. Neuripterus lived in the same time and place as the larger Sungariptorus, and formations that indicate the presence of extensive inland lake systems. Because Neuripterus had a more lightly built skull with weaker, more slender teeth than its larger contemporary, it is likely that the two pterosaurs occupied separate ecological niches. Sungariptorus had a rather robust skeleton with thick walls and stouty bodily proportions, suggesting a mostly terrestrial lifestyle. The flight style of these animals is unclear but it was probably punctuated by abrupt landings and extensive flapping. The laminated yellowish mudstones of the Shago Formation are the lithified remnants of varves that were laid down as extremely fine silt settled to the bottom of a tranquil freshwater lake. The result was dense anoxic bottom sediment, where the lack of bacteria slowed the processes of decay, preserving uncompressed fossils in details that include feather impressions and remnants of the webbing between the bird's toes. The Shago Formation is particularly noted for its high diversity of ancient birds. These include both modern birds close to the ancestors of living species and related lineages now entirely extinct. Archaeoceratops, like all ceratopsians, was an herbivore. During the Cretaceous, flowering plants were geographically limited on the landscape, and so it is likely that this dinosaur fed on the predominant plants of the era, ferns, cycads, and conifers it would have used its sharp beak to bite off the leaves or needles and chop them up to be swallowed. Right now, 
Gentisaurus has only been described from partial skull fragments, though these seem to indicate that it was close to becoming a hadrosauroid, a member of the group of dinosaurs that would eventually give rise to the hadrosaurids, some of the most numerous plants eating dinosaurs towards the end of the Cretaceous. Kaiawanlan was first thought to be an Asian representative of the world-famous Brachiosaurus, but has since been found to be similar to other Asian sauropods like Euhelopus. Xiang Wanlong is what is considered to be an intermediate tyrannosaur, larger than the earlier species, smaller than the larger ones like Gorgosaurus. It has a long snout on what is a quite narrow skull for a tyrannosaurid. Sususaurus was one of the largest known early Cretaceous therizinosauroids, with a length of 6 meters and a ponderous weight of approximately 3 tons. It developed a prominent keratinous beak, had stocky robust hind limbs, a large belly, and a reduced tail. Feather impressions from the therizinosauroids Bipiosaurus suggest at least a partial feathering in Sususaurus. Bashanlong is of a considerable size, approximating the largest known individuals of Galimimus, which have been estimated to reach 8 meters. According to the description, Bashanlong is one of the largest definitive ornithomimosaurs yet described, though histological analysis shows that the holotype individual was still growing at its death. The genus Gansus contains a single species, Gansus humanensis, which was about the size of a pigeon and similar in appearance to loons and diving ducks. It had many features common among modern birds, and also retained some basal traits such as its clawed wings. Dunhuangia is a medium-sized Enanchinathian. The describing authors established some autopomorphies, unique derived traits. The rear edge of the sternum has a pair of large notches, equaling over half of the length of the entire element. A single unique feature was established for Fiesianius. The tail plumage contains three distinct feather types, whereas all known relatives have tails with a single type of feather. Soft tissue remains are preserved around the tail base. These seem to represent a fleshy structure similar to the Parsons' nose of modern birds, in which the tail feathers are embedded. 